Okay, we're here with uh, Philip Anderson, who blogs at the Albany Project, which is one of the major liberal blogs here in New York. Phil, tell us about the Albany Project and what it is you guys are doing. Uh, we launched the Albany Project uh, to focus, uh, you know, in, in a statewide way uh, on New York uh, state politics, which uh, a lot of people maybe around the country kind of assume that New York is, is a, you know, it's a democratic state and everything is speechy keen here, whereas it's really not. And, uh, Albany is not exactly functional. It is, it is uh, in the words of uh, the, the NYU uh, Brennan Center on Social Justice, the uh, most dysfunctional state legislature in the nation. Uh, it is completely opaque and unresponsive and undemocratic. And um, it, uh, we, we have a, a state senate uh, that is controlled by the Republican Party um, and has been for quite some time. We have uh, 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 an assembly uh, with a supermajority of, uh, of Democrats who aren't particularly interested in changing the problem either. And we started the, the, the project as a way to kind of uh, to educate people in New York uh, about just you know, how dysfunctional a state government is and why it's dysfunctional. Right. Um, and, and we've had some pretty good success so far. And you were an early drinking liberally on this scene. Uh, I mean, tell us about how you got involved here and, and what it's meant to your your work. Well, you know, uh, I guess it was the winter of 04, 05, uh, December of 04, uh, some friends of mine. Uh, I live in Brooklyn, uh, New York here, and we started a, a, a drinking liberally chapter. I believe we were about the 30th, something like that. And... Uh, How'd you come, I mean, where did the idea come from? Was it just you knew Justin, or was it? Well, we had been coming to this drinking room, oh, okay. and And I, you know, I, I'm very uh, much a big fan of, of, of getting, you know, I, I work in the online world, but I, I, I like getting people together in, in, in real physical spaces to, to do things. Right. And, and drinking liberty is a great way to, to do that. It provides, you know, a physical space for progressives to come together. Um, and you know, every drinking liberally chapter is a little different. Some of them are much more social. People sit around and drink. Ours is actually a very, you know, kind of activist, action-oriented thing. What kind of stuff did you do? Well, our neighborhood was actually facing a, a, a rezoning fight. Uh, the city was wanting to rezone our neighborhood. Uh, something the neighborhood actually really wanted, but the city wanted to do it in a really kind of, in a way, contrary to the, the wishes of the people who live there. Right. And our drinking liberally became a hub for activists involved in in, in, in the, the rezoning fight. And you know, and we, we we thrived from right away. I mean, we had about 50 people show up to our first drinking liberally, which is it's amazing, which, which is great. And and, and you know, it, it became a, a place where you know every week we could get together and talk about what had just happened and what's going to happen tomorrow and what's going to happen on Saturday and what we need to do. And you know, it, I, I, I'm, like I said, I'm just a big fan of of. of capturing people online and then putting them together in a physical space to do things. Do you think that happens enough these days? I mean, a lot of the criticism of, or, or the, the criticisms lobbed, whether they're legitimate or not, of net roots and online work and activism is that it doesn't translate into real world organizing. Well, I mean, I, clearly this is a, there's a different case here. Yeah. Well, I would say that it doesn't happen anywhere near as, as often as it should. And one of the great things about drinking liberally is that, uh, you know, it, you know, it, it is at least working to kind of remedy that that problem. Uh, there are a number of different uh, ways to go about it. This is just one of them, but it's a very successful one. I mean, there are over 200 chapters now, and you know, one of the great things. I mean, this is New York City, and you know, no shortage of liberals. Yeah, exactly. But what, what's great to me about it, and I say this as someone who grew up in the in the very deep South, is that drinking liberally provides a, a, a process by which, you know, people in a small southern town in Oklahoma or Nebraska or something like that, who, who, who may be under the impression that I'm the only one, can, can, can self-organize an event at a bar and, and people can come up and, you know, they, they find out that they're not the only one. And, you know, and they, they, they get together and, and connections are made and relationships are formed. And that's, in, that's incredibly important. I think you know, for 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 a party that that is that, that is pushing for uh, you know a 50 state strategy, you know, this is it. Right. You know. Right. You don't need the party. You have Justin Krebs and the rest of this team. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Again.